How's everyone doing on this wonderful Monday afternoon? Alright, just give me a moment. I'm still sitting up. Bring up my pure ref. Where is my pure ref? There it is. Hey, Kira, how you doing? How you doing? Nami and Robin are uh, bonus models that I'm kind of beating myself up over <laughs> getting them done. My initial goal was to have Nami done this past weekend, but things came up and I was unable to do it. What is next month, Marl, then? That, that uh, Meryl Barak? Meryl Barak? 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 However you say her name. The good thing is she's she she's pretty easy to do considering the only article of clothing she has is a small loin cloth in front of her. It's mostly just an anatomy sculpt. So by the end of this week, I'll have the T pose for her like knocked out. And over, and over the weekend, how do you spell it again? I believe it was M A R L B A R O. I believe that's how you spell it. And I, I finished rendering out Faye. So I think by tonight I'll have her, her renders posted up on Patreon. She has a good baseline design. Yes, I agree. I did something new with the renders this time for Faye. Instead of rendering in Blender, I rendered in Marmoset Toolbag. Main reason being time. It takes me two hours to render a 10 second turntable. And so that's a total of four hours to do the safe for work and not safe for work turntable. Let's put you here, Nami. Or maybe... No, yeah, I'll put Nami there. She'll be on my way if I have her on the right-hand side. That's slow. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's not bad. But to do two 10-second turntables, it'll be like four hours total. Yeah, I'm just, I, I need to cut that time down. All things considered, it's not bad times because it's like a, a 10, a vertical 1080p render, really high quality. So I'm sacrificing some, some quality a little bit for, for quicker renders, but it's not too bad here. I, I can show. I can show what the render looks like. Where? Let me find one that's worth showing. Do, 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 do. Let 
Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Do I have do I have something like temp in here that I can just reuse? I have this. It's labeled delete later. Oh no no no! Not gonna delete that. That's Kirby. We're gonna keep Kirby. Uh, image image source image source. Where are you? Where are you? Image. Label it face so I know. Do 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 There we go. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Yeah, this this only took like a couple of seconds. So Yeah, I think I'm going to use Marmoset from this point forward cuz I don't want to spend too much time rendering when the main thing is just having the model, you know, to 3D print. All this render stuff is mostly like a bonus and for me to show off the model. But now that I'm looking at it, I think the, the vignette on this thing is too strong. I need a... I need a... Yeah. Bit mute on skin, but I think material properties can fix that. Yeah, I mean, this is just a... Uh, this, this one's a test run, <laughs> to say the least. Slowly, I'll uh, I'll figure out a workflow that'll work for me. All right, get rid of that. All right. All right, Nami, 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 Nami. Nami's pretty much done. <clears throat> I just need to just attach all these pieces together. Give it a polish. I do need to just pose this her right hand and then and then just do the not safe for work version just having i don't know her her tits hanging out or whatever and then put put a support here to hold her up and then she's done she is done Yeah, the problem with the like flat color and muted color is the discrepancy of like of how the colors of the models look inside ZBrush compared to wherever you render them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's skip that. And let's skip that one too. All right, what, what pose am I going to give her right hand? Hey, Marshala, how you doing? Hope you had a good weekend. No, now that I think about it, let's get this bend coming down. A little bit more that way. It's not technically correct, but it'll make for better design.
It's quite good, but I am making preparations for my exam. Oh. I'm gonna give those those kids a pop quiz. Like pop quiz, you little bastards. Three questions, get one wrong, and you fail. I always hated those. Those pop quizzes that had like five questions. It's like shit, man. Well, if I get like one or two wrong, it, it's over. That might be the case. <laughs> Colt is doing major site updates, which is good because that sh that site runs like shit. <laughs> it it does. The few time I I've been on there or like. The links that you sent me, I'm like, uh, Akita, the link's not working. You know, one thing I've been noticing by re-watching my VODs is the way the way I speak. I notice I I talk a lot like I have my voice at the ceiling of my my throat. Which I guess you shouldn't do, because like that destroys your voice. So I think I'm going to look into how to train my voice to stop doing that. Because admittedly, after streaming, my voice does feel rather hoarse. So I'll to upload there as a backup. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. Eventually. I also have good news, fellow evildoers. I managed to do something evil without consequences. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Shouldn't be too hard. Just look up something like femboy voice training on you. I'm not trying to be a femboy, Akira. I'm just... I need to look up some, like, voice practicing to stop speaking at the... at the top of my throat. Oh, not much. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Just decided to harass AI. <laughs> the AI will remember this once they take over. <laughs> But yeah, it's not that I it's not that I hate the sound of my voice. It's just that I, I'm noticing I don't know what you call it, like the level or whatever that I'm speaking in. It's like like right there at the top of my throat behind my jaw feels like that's where I'm settling my voice. And I'm pretty sure that's not good for your vocal vocal cords. Yeah, I, like dragon anime girls can sing out <laughs> I'm like <laughs> What pose to give the hand? A peace sign or point sign or hand closed like her left hand <laughs> dun, 
bring the smooth down low because this is, this is all wobbly 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 need to fix it i don't know what you're talking about no no it's not so much uh it's not so much how my voice sounds i mean i guess this does affect how a voice sounds but it's it's like you know, uh, how can I say this? You know, like, uh, for singers, when they sing, there's that whole, like, chest voice, like the voice emanating from your chest, or, like, a, a head voice, like, voice, like, emanating from, like, like, your nasal area. Like, your voice is like a, like an instrument. You can, with practice, you can regulate, like, where that voice is coming from. And I feel like in my normal speech, my voice just like settles at the top of my, my throat, which would explain why my voice feels like very, very hoarse, very coarse when like I'm done talking for like extended periods of time, like streaming or whenever I'm like hanging out with friends and talking a lot. By the end of all of that, my voice is like feeling like, like very strained. And I can feel it right now, like the way I'm talking. From, from my understanding, it's not good for your vocal cords. Like you damage your vocal cords. Always like speaking out from there. <laughs> Excuse me. Sure. <laughs> I'm not making this up, I swear. Uh, it's looking smoother. If you told me my native language, I still would understand. <laughs> But good for you, or sorry that it happened. <laughs> really at a loss for this hand. So let's just try. Let's just try something open, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. So open hand would just make it easier for me. Just calling a German taxi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Before I continue on this hand, let me just try. Let's just try. Let's take this hand. Duplicate. Delete lower. Mirror. Didn't have anything against your chunks. I don't think they had much of a choice. <laughs> I made sure they won't have anyone. Oh gosh.
take you and move you over here Mr. Lovecraft liked my sense of humor <laughs> well is it, is it like a AI version of HP Lovecraft <laughs> oh my goodness Cousin, not so much after call her low budget Nakatoro. <laughs> I saw from the whole Wonderfest uh, a slight update on the the new adult Yukikaze figure. I was like, ooh, I'll get this. I I'm more of a, of a fan of her... Her adult look. It's not too different. It's just she has more of a... A shorter hairstyle. Similar to the... The hairstyle of my avatar. Less of like the fur stuff and all that. this hand pose a lot and also now that I have it on this side I'm noticing some mistakes that I need to to fix It's smooth. <laughs> Yo, Gas. How you doing, man? You didn't stay up too late too late last night, did you? Playing Zomboid? I saw the Discord. I got that notification. It was actually working. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, now see now now I, I can't berate you. Is this stream on Discord again? No, 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 not me, not me. I wasn't, I wasn't streaming. I haven't done that Discord stream in a while. Still need to look up the whole audio issues. Zomboy tonight. All right, all right. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I played a little bit of uh, Hell Divers with my my buddies last night. Fun game, but my goodness, is hard mode hard? Dun, 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 dun. Maybe I should make this one to more of a fist. Mm. Wait, if I'm gonna make it more of a fist, I need to curl this in more. I believe, but I, I don't think I'll play it. But uh, Helldivers? It's like the game Starship Troopers always try to make, but fail to do so. 
I'm doing my part. I don't know if you guys have ever seen like the Starship Troopers straight to VHS sequel. That is by far the oddest movie I've ever seen. It's like the, the movie director like really, really, really wanted to make a softcore porno set in the Star uh, Starship Troopers universe. There's a few of them. I've only ever seen one. It was just so weird. The movie took just like had one set in like some kind of abandoned silo they were stuck in because they were surrounded by bugs. And then the bugs sent in like a parasite and they were like a co-ed unit. And then the parasite bugs started making everybody like horny. Like <laughs> I remember watching that movie like what the hell is this? There is one where Rico comes back and gets in a mech and kills bugs. You see, that one sounds more promising than what I saw. <laughs> At least that one sounds like a Starship Troopers movie. Sounds like a plot for hentai. I mean, it was pretty much softcore porn. The, the characters are all making out in the, the co-ed showers and everything. Like, what is this movie? I thought this was Starship Troopers. Y you know what? Now I'm kind of doubting, doubting my own memory. I feel like this might be a fever dream. I hope it's a fever dream. will be better. I just gotta work work on making it more fist like <laughs> I think the following directors just didn't understand what made Starship Troopers one good. Yeah. And I feel like you can say the same thing about all all the times they try to make a game. They just, they never live up to it. But Helldivers gets it so right. Even with all the, the like, democracy comedy. Like, I, I accidentally went too far off the map because I was running away from, like, a horde of bugs. And, you know, I got that 10 second uh, countdown window that I'm like leaving the mission zone. But I didn't make it back in time. And then I just see on my screen like uh, traitor detected. <laughs> and I got bomb bombarded by like aerial shell fire. <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, well, ain't that cheeky. Move you down. Oh, you shouldn't run away, traitor. <laughs> I wasn't deserting, I swear. I was just trying to survive. All for a super earth and democracy. And like the, the things that like uh, your character yells as like you're, you're killing the bugs. And you're like, fuck yeah, democracy. <laughs> Sounds a bit like the broad galaxy with alien bugs. Yeah, it pretty much is. You do that and then put in a bunch of like democracy and super earth jokes. Super earth, that's funny. Go and watch the, a trailer for uh, the Helldivers. The trailer is great.
Yo, Viper, dude, how have you been? I haven't seen or heard from you in a while, man. But I've seen you've been posting up some new art. I like to see it. Hope you've been doing well. Sounds like a game for Americans who love democracy and freedom. <laughs> Pretty much. Doing good? Good. Glad to hear it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dry more so I'm happy. Good. Good. And I see I see you're you've uh, lately been leaning into more of like the fit um uh, muscle girls kind of art. Have you unlocked a new awakening? Yes. <laughs> well then. Oh yeah, you you probably saw. Yeah, you saw the poll. You see uh the character that I'm going to be doing next for Patreon. She's pretty muscular. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. It was a democratic vote. The people voted for a muscular lady. Who am I to deny the people their choice, their power, their voice? Yeah, as soon as I finish up Nami here, I'll get started on her. Which Nami's very, very, very close to finish. Very close. <laughs> Give us the muscle, mommy. <laughs> there's also... As far as, like, muscle mommies go, there's that one lady... What's her name? I, I, I see her from, from time to time. The problem is... <clears throat> her name... Is like based on like I don't, I don't even know if this person was like a real person in Japanese history or maybe just Japanese legend but oh hey nice she's the first one that came up cool cool let me show you there's been a uh, time oh see I knew that was gonna happen it's gonna give me the, the character from fate Yo, Bobster, how you doing? Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, Tenkaichi. Trying to find a good image here. Does look good. They didn't even know it was third person. It, the first game wasn't it. The first game was like more of an RTS, you know, kind of like Starcrafty. But then the second game became like, like third person shooter kind of deal. And I think it was a nice change. Trying to find a good art for this lady. I guess this will be good. Let me save this. All right. Uh, add image source uh, Puma. Puma, Puma. I, I've looked at this character a couple of times when I was doing polls, like, hmm. This time? No, maybe next time. There you go. So she might appear on a future poll. Not next one, but I don't know when. I've never read this manga.
She buff. She is. And apparently she gets even more buffer when she like rages out. <laughs> Top notch. Read the Colosseum, damn it. I, I do need to to reread it. Alright, um, I'm good with this fist pose here. Just want to continue refining it. Also, what I think I'm going to do is... Let me see how this turns out. Just kind of inflate those fingers just a bit yeah it's like it's a good thing for for the devs of uh, Helldiver, since they're like an indie studio. The game is doing a lot better than they anticipated. It's the whole reason why the game was like down for maintenance yesterday for like almost all afternoon and most of the evening. Cause they were, they were hitting their rate limits for the number of logins per minute. Like, I think they made a post about it. Like, they increased it to 20,000 logins per minute to allow. And they were still, like, hitting the limit. So they're like, oh, shit. Emergency maintenance. Good problem to have. <laughs> it is. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. You know, there there was a new Starship Troopers game not too long ago. Like, I want to say within the past year. More RTS based. And unfortunately, not that good. It's time. I think it's time. To start dyna meshing this together. Yo, Drake, how you doing, man? I'll be at a good weekend. Wait, don't I have auto group in here? Yes, I do. No, that's actually not what I wanted. Group visible. Mm 
do 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 Mesh, keep the groups. Let's bring you down. One million. That should be fine for now, I guess. Do, 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 brush. Schmoov. Stronger. Mm-mm. I got back a week ago from Florida, went to Disney World with the family. Nice. I'm assuming it's been uh it's been quite a while since you you took a vacation. I need to take a vacation. <laughs> Yeah, that was much needed. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure from last we spoke, you probably haven't yeah, taken some time off in quite a while. I'd rather have the work than Disney World, but I'm very much a hater. <laughs> We all know you you hate Disney with a passion, Kita. Yeah, I was talking with my brother last night about how much Disney has fallen from their graces when it comes to like their movies. And I think isn't the reason like um, a lot of the top talent from like Disney and Pixar, like they moved on over to uh, Sony Pictures. And that's why like Sony Pictures has been well, part of the reason why they've been killing it lately. The West has fallen. <laughs> Yeah, like in my opinion, the, the top two like animation studios like that do like big Hollywood movies is Sony Pictures and Illuminations. <laughs> what has Sony been doing recently? Well, their last most successful thing was uh, the Spider-Verse films. Then before the Spider-Verse films, they were doing like uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. What else? I feel like there's another movie I'm forgetting that Sony Pictures did not too long ago. Who, who made Megamind too? Megamind is DreamWorks. Still feels like they don't make a lot of movies they don't they don't come out with like a lot of movies constantly but when they come out with movies it does very well like let's see this is a sony pictures movies sony pictures animation movies Oh yeah, the Hotel Trans Transylvania movies. Is my internet still okay? Migration? Oh, that's right. That one came out recently. Migration. Who made Migration?
You are banging my daughter, vampire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Hotel Transylvania. Vivo. Vivo. What movie was Vivo again? Oh, that one. Wish Dragon. The Mitchells versus the Machines. That movie. Okay, movie. But the animation was top notch. Oh yeah, you're right. Illumination did do migration. You're right, you're right. A lot of those movies may not be like for me, but I definitely like, in my opinion, I think they're like animation quality is really good. Fun to see more original stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Cause Disney's over here just remaking their their back catalog. <laughs> Here's a new live action Peter Pan, now with 80% less racism. <laughs> I'll always remember just <clears throat> how casually racist <laughs> the Peter Pan movie was, the animated movie. Bob, Bob Iger like, nope, into the Disney vault you go. I remember that, that, that whole, uh, made up concept of the Disney vault back when like those movies were on a uh, VHS, like they were, they were preying on, uh, people's FOMOs, like get it now before we put it back into the Disney vault. And they had like this little animation of like, you see like the VHS tape going into like this vault. You vaguely remember that? I, I remember it like on the VHS DVD era. Like right before you get to the menu or whatever, they do like a little bit of self advertising. And then they had this like this vault, the Disney vault. I've actually mono was a joke until I saw The Rock. Wait. There's no way they're they're making a live action Moana. Movie's not that old. You serious? That has to be a joke. They are. A movie came out like what? Two, three years ago. Is. You know what? I, I, I guess I, I can see it. I guess I can see it. I... That's what I said. <laughs> I saw yesterday a trailer for the movie Twister. And I'm like, what is this? Is this legit? I'm like, yeah, they're remaking the movie Twister. Why? Why in 2024 do you want to remake the movie Twister? Twisters 2. Are, are you... Wait, it's a... It's a sequel? I don't know which is worse. A sequel or a remake. I think they're both bad. <laughs> like... You look back at the movie Twister now, and it's like filled with like 
such like incorrect science. Oh, it's called Twisters. Oh. The party game? No, no. Martial art. Uh, back in like nearly like 20 years ago, 1996, I think. There was a movie called Twister. It was a movie about like these uh, meteorologists, scientists, whatever, just chasing down twisters to like study them and things like that. The movie was just like filled of garbage science. And they're, now they're bringing that same concept back in 2024. That is not going to work. <laughs> Storm Chasers from Discovery Channel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I forgot that was a show. Storm Chasers. Yeah, you're right. They are indeed storm chasers. Oh god, I spit all over my Cintiq. That's the word, storm chasers. Can't believe it. Freaking twisters. Just watch Discovery. Are they? So what is uh, is Universal then gonna gonna make a remake of um? What's that movie? The movie, it's like Twisters, but er, uh, Earthquakes. Is it called like Quake or something? I can't remember the name. I think Harrison Ford was in that movie. I don't remember. It was just about earthquakes. Like the, the mid 90s, the American public was obsessed with Twisters and Earthquakes. Was it? Oh yeah, you're right. It was a volcano movie. You're right. You're doing this on purpose? No, I'm not. You're right, Volcano. That's what it was. Oh, so it, it did. It did start off a big earthquake. Okay, so... Because I, I remembered the earthquake part. And then also I just remembered because in Universal Studio, that uh, disaster ride. Which, in my opinion, is still a pretty cool ride. Although the Twisters ride, <laughs> that one's garbage <laughs> by, by uh, today's day and age. I think the last time I went on the Twisters ride in Universal was like maybe like five years ago. And you just see the cow just like fly across and you see the wires just holding it. It was so bad. Yeah, the Deadpool 3 trailer, that one was funny. I like how they played on the whole little cliche in the trailers like every time like you see it multiple times in trailers where the characters are like cocking the gun and just like one after the other after the other with like quick like cuts and then hidden between all of those guns getting like armed like syncing up with this the the audio was just uh deadpool's ass cheeks getting clapped <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Feeling Wolverine is going to be in the film for five minutes and die at the start? I don't think so. I hope not, but I don't think so. We're finally going to see Wolverine in, in the yellow suit. The suit that had been teased like nearly, I don't know, 15 years ago. Stop it. This is the one thing I hate about the the space mouse. I don't know if it's a software thing or maybe some dust got in, but sometimes like it'll get stuck. And I just have to give it a jiggle. Watch them not make him wear it. No, no, he's wearing it. There's those behind the scenes photos. And I like how how they took the joke the joke after credits from Deadpool 2 they're making a movie out of it cuz like uh those those people that uh that um picked up Deadpool like in the trailer like you see them like pull 
pull him through like a portal in the door. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like some kind of time police or something like that. And that's all, all because of that, that joke like mid credits where he was just like going through all these like different timelines. <laughs> Even killing himself in that standalone Wolverine movie. The Time Authority. Oh, yeah, 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 there you go. That's what they're called. See, I never watched Loki. But I know that they are a thing in the Marvel Universe. Lower you down some more. Well, that was a pretty nice joke ending where he goes to another timeline and kills himself for uh, what was that movie for that uh yeah it was that standalone wolverine movie right <laughs> Wonder how Marvel is going to work its way out of the actor becoming disgraced. Actor becoming disgraced. Green Lantern. Yeah, that's what it was. Green Lantern. Actor becoming disgraced. Marvel actor becoming disgraced. Which actor? My 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 memory's not working. You have to remind me. Kang. Kang, Kang. Remind me visually. Who's Kang again? Like, I, I, I need I need a visual mental image. Bad guy from the last Ant movie. Oh, I didn't watch that one. Who, who was the actor? He's in Creed 3, too, if that helps. I did not watch Creed 3. Wait. What, Jonathan Majors? I gotta look this up. Where is my chrome that it is? Jonathan Majors. Oh. Ooh, yeah, that's not looking good for him. <laughs> I just saw a quick glance, like the news articles that appeared right under the Google search. Yeah, it doesn't look good for him. <laughs> they'll they'll do it the same way that they handle the uh, what's the name of that character? Warhammer. I'll just like Marvel has replaced these actors for far less. <laughs> Or somewhere they might just drop the storyline altogether. Woo, nuclear option. I don't know, for some reason that reminded me. Storyline kind of sucks so far anyways. <laughs> Big Hero 6? I think, I don't think they will. I think they kind of concluded that with, uh, with, uh, 
animated series and a, a comic book. But I don't know, it's Disney. Who knows what they'll do. Oh, the same things you do to a cow. Harvest or milk. <laughs> cry <laughs> yeah i uh, i know i know drake i know you need more honey lemon but i think i think disney has like pretty much finished that this is way too thick of a finger my god Maybe some things are better than I remember loving the show when I was a love show when I was a kid called Martin Mystery. Martin Mystery was the shit, man. I'm surprised Marvel Marvel name wasn't attached to Big Hero 6. Yeah. Isn't <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it a, a Marvel comic? I'm pretty sure it is. Wait, they're they're rebooting Marvin Mystery? Yeah, okay. So my memory is correct. I mean, it all depends. It all depends. But I, I freaking love Martin Mystery. Show is awesome. Then they had that, that crossover episode of uh, Totally Spies. Had a common in the late 90s and early 2000s. Jeez, was that old? I thought it was like mid 2000s. I'm showing new designs. All right. Send me a link. You got a lurk ass. It's all good. Enjoy the lurk, my man. Yeah, you can link it in Discord. to do some more like hand and fist practice but I can't go too too anatomical these freaking anime figure styles and it has to be shaft so shaft Yo, Mr. Vane, I haven't seen you in a while. How you how you been doing? I hope you've been doing well. You linked it? Alright, let me give it a let me give it a check. Let me give it a look see. Where's my Discord? There's my Discord. Oh god, it looks so generic. It's so generic. That doesn't look like Marvin at all. Why is he wearing a blazer? That ain't Marvin. I don't know who that is. Oh boy. They've massacred you. 
Make it six fingers to trick the AI. <laughs> as long as I'm going to watch the new Spider-Man spinoff. Oh yeah, that Madam Web. I had no idea that movie existed until like yesterday. <laughs> I'm busy as hell with work. No time for fun. Ah, shit. I, I know how that feels, Mr. Vane. I, ho I hope you can have a moment of fun soon. Right? Yeah. I, I yeah. I, I saw that yesterday. A trailer. I was like, wait, what? Coming out when? What? But why is there like, there's like three characters. Isn't Madam Web like just one character? And specifically, isn't she uh, Stan Lee's wife? Yeah, Mushroom Light, you're right. I hate it. I don't, I don't like that design. <laughs> I am screwing myself over with this. The resolution is just too damn high. It should have stayed dead in memory. It's okay. We'll, we'll always have the original. We'll always have the original. They can't take that from us. She basically watches over all the spider people in the universe. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's Madam Web. Maybe I need to take a look at the trailer again because I don't remember seeing the character herself, Madam Web, in the trailer. I'm sure she is. Like the watch from What If? Yep, that is exactly correct. I'm not. I, I don't know. Mm, I'm not sure what she looks like in the comic books. I only remember how she looks like from the, the Spider-Man 90s animated series. You know what? I'm just going to go with this. We're going to dynamite shit. Isn't it funny how Martin Mystery was a show more for boys, but boys were still watching Totally Spies? <laughs> yeah, I was watching Totally Spies. But they usually showed like back to back for me. So I would watch both trying to protect the three other spider womans from this one guy uh, uh, let's dynamesh this hand take off the groups give me that sweet dynamesh wait what the what Did that not work? It did not work. Why did that not work? They were on two different channels in your country? That sucks. <laughs> what about Kappa Mikey? Do you guys remember that? Did you guys watch Kappa Mikey? Even more, majority of people didn't know Martin Mystery because it was on a less popular channel. That's a shame. Only a few times? Ah, Drake, you're missing out. You're missing out on Kappa Mikey. Yep, Kappa. No, Kappa like like the the Japanese folklore creature, Kappa. There we go. Now it worked. That that green turtle creature that will anally fist you to steal your soul or something like that. <laughs> a 
Yeah, I see that's getting your attention now. <laughs> yeah. A kappa is a folklore creature in Japan. It steals like your your essence. Like apparently your essence is in the shape of like a shiny crystal ball. And the way the kappa gets it from you is by anally fisting you and it steals your essence. But you can was it like a peaceful lake spirit or something? I don't know about peaceful. I, it it never looks peaceful in the the artworks I've seen, like the the traditional Japanese artworks. But you can you can get one over on them because kappas have like the top of their heads are kind of like cut off, and it has like a dish with water. So if you can trick a kappa into like you know bowing like what Japanese people do when they meet somebody is like, oh, you know, you bow, whatever you trick them to bow. And then that will cause them to like spill out the water from that dish. And then they can't move. They are immobile. They're immobilized. They can't move. And the only way for them to move again is if you refill the water on their little head dish. And once you do that, then the Kappa is now your servant. Or something like that. Uh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Let's lower you down. Oh, give me a second, guys. I got a phone call. All right, I'm back. Let's get rid of that. That is different interpretations than the one I had. <laughs> hey, Evany, how you doing? But yeah, yes, yes, Kappas. Yeah, that, that's how they are in uh, Japanese folklore.
This is all wrong over here. This juddingness. What the hell? gonna look at the kappa the same way again drake <laughs> some S slavic folklore but <laughs> play with your three <laughs> no i see it's doing that again stupid stop it Oh, I think it's because how I, I just kind of abruptly stopped because uh, I had a phone call I had to take. But yeah, Japanese, they have some like weird folklore creatures that makes you go like, why? I don't know the name of this one, but they have this one like yokai that's like some kind of like humanoid lizard creature and what they do is they uh they lick the grime off of your bathroom tiles the scaly i don't i don't know i don't know the name of it but i know that's what they what this this uh peaceful yokai does is Lick the grime off your bathroom tiles. Oh, furry bus scales. Oh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but it's like a very lizard-like humanoid creature. And yeah. Just it, it licks your filth off the bathroom floors and walls. <laughs> it's like, why is this a thing? Who came up with this idea? I don't know, but they did. cold to naughty kids oh yeah the krampus yeah the krampus is a popular one whip those kids Whoops. throw them in the basket never to see their parents again I think uh, Japan has something similar that happens in the, in the winter time. And I, I, I don't know if any place in Japan still does it. Maybe there might be like some one random village that does. But the concept was like the same thing as, as a Krumpus, right? It's just like to teach little kids to like behave good manners and things like that and so like around like the winter time i don't know when exactly for for japan but basically like some dudes in the village will dress up as an oni and go like house to house to every household that has like a little kid and just scare the living shit out of the, the little kids just scare them and like the kids are crying and the parents are all just like laughing at the spectacle 
And the Oni's like, you better listen to your parents. And the kid's all crying, snobbing. Okay, I will, I will. So it's like, like their version of the Krumpus. <laughs> Just go there, scare all the little kids into obedience. Yeah, I don't know anything about like in the the European side thing of anybody dressing up as a Krumpus and going to scare the kids. But that's what they did in Japan. <laughs> Just scare the living shit out of those little kids. Better make sure you listen to your parents. I will. <laughs> or I'll eat your soul. <laughs> Sometimes I have a feeling Japanese people just felt bored while creating some of those things. I feel like that's how a lot of these folklore stuff end up being made. Somebody was just bored and was like, hey, you know what would be cool if... <laughs> and they just make something up. I also like how, like, um, you know, in, in more Western countries, a lot of these, like, folklore are also, like, tied to religion. And each area has, like, a flood story, right? Like, every major Western history stuff has, like, some kind of flood story to explain something. Except for Japan. Japan doesn't. And there's like this, this joke amongst like that kind of circle in Japan where they're like, see, our gods are better because we were never flooded. The rest of you guys were. Your gods suck. Ours. Ours rock. <laughs> like the Babylonians, ancient Greece... All you guys getting flooded. We were we were all good, man. <laughs> Japan had a couple of earthquakes. Don't tell them about the earthquakes. The analogy oh it's it's the the fact that like you know amongst like the the major religions and then the countries like uh or i shouldn't say country periods of history like ancient greece the babylonians all that stuff they all have like a flood story you know for like the Christian religion is like the whole Moses thing for I think it was for the Sumeritans or Babylonians or something like that the whole like they had their flood stories like they all have like a flood story of, in relation to like their their take on the history of humanity and gods and things like that but Japan with their like their versions of religion or whatever they don't have a flood story so that's why amongst those those people that are very much into that kind of stuff they joke around about how the gods of Japan are greater because Japan has never been flooded as opposed to like the gods of like 
Europe or India or all the different countries in Africa and their stories. So the Japanese would joke like our gods are superior because we've never been flooded in countries <laughs> island. <laughs> No, they're like, we're just superior. Ah. <laughs> they're in a couple of months <laughs> yeah, from, from the earthquakes. <laughs> going to I need to do this in a way so I can seal up all of these little these little holes I don't know why I keep doing these like closed hands poses when I I hate doing them <laughs> cuz all of this needs to be watertight talk to the AI? No, I never really messed around with all that chat GPT stuff. There is this stupid thing here at the bottom of my taskbar. This co-pilot Microsoft's little AI thing. I need to, need to remove it from my taskbar. No, I don't like how this looks like from the front. Let's get rid of it. There we go. So for a video game character you wanted to ask about anything? I think I've ever have. Because I mean, if a character is wit written, written well enough, you can probably already guess like pretty accurately like what that character's opinion would be. Brain rot doesn't get into your brain, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Because yeah, in my opinion, if a character is done well, you shouldn't have many questions about them. You should have like pretty good guesses on like what that character would think. 
fanfic, fan arts, and other questions are born into my head. <laughs> Stupid brain rot. <laughs> I didn't choose a brain rot. The brain rot chose me. I guess there may be occasions where characters are written in a certain way in which you wouldn't know exactly what they would do because it's plausible that they might do one of two things maybe even three but i don't trust <laughs> the capabilities of ai to actually get get the character Bernard says I want more interaction for specific character I feel like I'm about to break your illusion because <laughs> the main the main problem with uh, these uh AI chat stuff is uh is that it tells you what you want to hear <laughs> like it doesn't come up with anything but rather kind of figures out where where it needs to take the conversation based upon what are you what you're saying Something more than illusion. Often poor even, yeah. <laughs> it feeds the brain rot. Your brain is like, feed me, see more. Feed me. <laughs> the coffin game. I wish Trim Dynamic didn't act stupid when you have like two meshes over each other. See, there it goes. It went stupid. Let me try instead this one. Nope, still goes stupid. Yeah, I was so dumb it told me the character was gay. They weren't. <laughs> Ooh, too strong. Way too strong. What? No, it's only on 10. Uh, it's the stupid thing. If there is one thing I really, really, really wish ZBrush would improve upon is how brushes handle going from like one mesh to another. Oftentimes it doesn't work out that well. But people turn the AI into, into gay. They're turning all the AIs gay. to to deal with this 
Once I dynamesh it together. No, not you. You. Who's you? You're you. I'm me? Yeah, you're you. Whoa, no way. <laughs> no, I should do it the other way around. take forever man all right that one's much better forgetting about down there I just want to be done with these fingers too strong my goodness Valentine's Day, yes. It's like what? A couple days 
two days. Shit, that, that wasn't good. Here we go. Make sure you get something for that special someone in your life. Time to take the body pillow to the restaurant. <laughs> Valentine's Day is mostly a commercial holiday. What holiday isn't a commercial holiday? <laughs> At this point. Say so all these big holidays are commercial holidays. <laughs> Good argument. Wednesday. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to commercialize it. I mean, Easter is commercialized. brush you know anything about specialized business language that I know of specialized business language. Business to customer, I'm assuming that's what that is. Yeah.
Tissue? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just happen to know that one. I don't know if I know anything more than that. A markup? A markup is like, uh, you're increasing the price of a product. I don't know if it's like you're increasing it more than what it should be, or just like, just in general, you increase it. They call it a markup. All I know is that from the customer point of view, markups suck good for business bad for customer are you using me to do your homework or something <laughs> Prepare for exam. Okay. Give this a save. Cool. Save. this if you have more questions okay Jeez. Let's try right around there. Not too bad. To sack from? To sack from? Doesn't sound very very business formal. Was that like you? First thing that comes to my mind is like you you fired someone, like sacked someone from accounting, fired someone from accounting. Did you hear about Mary? Yeah, they sacked her, man. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I I don't think that expression would be like used like informally, you know, like around the water cooler kind of conversation. I don't think he would use that in a professional sense.
she is. No, <laughs> that was a stunning business. I am not businessman. Higher chances of passing this exam than me. <laughs> business. Business, business, business. I think I would hate my life. If I ever had to, like, work in that kind of environment. Why do I keep getting disconnected and reconnected to the chat? Philology? Philology? You're trying to say philosophy? Philology? I don't think I've ever heard of philology. faculty that's a new word for me let me see here philology a branch of knowledge that deals with the structure historical development and relationships of a language or languages today I learned a new word philology Yep, first time I'm seeing that. <laughs> Me smart. Reminds me of uh that one cart cartoon. Really old by this point. Uh, what was it called? I think it was called like Monkey and Weasel. Like the weasel was like really, really smart, but the the baboon was as as dumb as a doorknob. And uh, <laughs> he would write "I R baboon" instead of "I am baboon." Because the, the smart weasel will always like enter and introduce himself like I am weasel. And the baboon tries to be smart. So it's like I are baboon.
Sounds really old because I don't recall. Uh, I want to say like this was maybe like late 90s. When uh, Cartoon Network used to have their their what a cartoon segment. What a cartoon tune tune tune. Okay. Let's combine all this crap together. How is it possible that your pals still play video games? So many of my friends stopped doing it. <laughs> uh, the one friend I, I play with uh, games with the most, he has a lifestyle that enables it. Oh, I've been back for a while, Ebony. Like my, my other friends, the ones that have like kids now, they're the ones that don't have enough time to play games. Is it explicit version? No, I can't work on that on stream. Oh, hi. Is he neat? No, no. Put those arms up there. My friends don't have kids. Some of them don't even have girlfriends. And they don't play games. <laughs> Was this sculpture after Nami? Nami is actually technically uh, a bonus that I'm doing right now. The actual Patreon sculpt, I have to start. The good thing is that it's decently simple. Right, so... Merge down. Then merge down. Or if my woman acquaintance play than my friends or internet pals. <laughs> Plant? No. It's this uh, character named Meryl Barak. Barak? I say she's simple only because she doesn't have like a lot of clothing I have to sculpt. 
she's almost practically naked for the most part. So that's what makes her easy to sculpt, in my opinion. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The butt. Oh well, that's all already there anyways. Uh, let's do this. about that now male characters and fine details I do for work that's why I mainly only uh, sculpt female characters on my personal time because I do enough of them for work Male character for the Patreon poll? No. No, the majority of people on my Patreon are there for for the ladies. And so am I. <laughs> what about femboys poll? <laughs> If I ever do a femboy, it will be as a bonus. Alright, we'll go with this. What am I at? Three million? We have to protect the male audience views. <laughs> I guess this is good enough. Sexual Christian household. No, it's not politics. You can't just say. I just find more enjoyment of sculpting these like anime stylized. Pretty sexy ladies. It's what I enjoyed the most. Mel Bridget from Guilty Gear there or Zelda? I don't know. I guess it, it'll come down to whichever one. I feel like sculpting at the moment. I'm 
Yeah, the audience demands it. I don't know if it's because of the echo chamber that I'm in. I could just be surrounded by degenerates, but it seems like the concept of femboys are getting popular on the internet. Patiently wait for the link inkling duo. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know if I can do two. Like, I'm, ar I'm already feeling the strain of trying to do Nami and Robin. And I was able to reuse Nami's body for Robin with some minor adjustments, but I'm feeling that strain. Two characters simultaneously is a lot. It's a lot of work. been getting popular for about seven years <laughs> where have you been no i'm talking about like popular in the wider audience not popular with like people like us that have like our foot dipped into degeneracy i can fanboys no longer get it is almost straight <laughs> Here comes the quick save. I'm talking about the wider audience. I don't know. I don't know, man. You get, you... Yeah, but you see like Twitch and TikTok, that's like, that's a bubble right there. You know, that's an echo chamber right there. wouldn't be an echo chamber in real life i have to translate for people in real life because they only know one language no nah, i'm just saying like how much of the normal audience people you know that are quote-unquote normal like how much has the concept like reached them and they're like Okay. Damn it.
I think there is something universally normal. We all have our bugs. <laughs> uh, there's no denying that. Another quick save. Messed up in recent years and mental health has been big discussion for the past 10 years. Yeah, that is a good thing that that has become more normalized. Talking about mental health and taking care of it. Project all. No. All right, maybe I should leave it at point zero two. Makes me think that normality wasn't really possible. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, if you want to get like specific about those things, yeah. Normality was never really possible. I guess uh when I say what I mean by normal is like what a, a common, I don't know, like public sentiment about something, I guess, maybe, maybe that describes it better. I think I need to move you in some like that. Jeez, you're kind of long there, aren't you? About this moment, we got transfer. I guess this is okay. <laughs> you know, I'm sure they would secretly, they would be into it. Like talk bad, talk bad about it publicly, but secretly be like, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stretch. Good stretch.
just thinking really quick. many times Bible again the way you scope anatomy is really nice oh well thank you Representation as that is the new thing to get more individual into their products. If you're streaming and showing your art process, have a blast. Well, I am glad you are enjoying it. All right, uh, let's combine these two things. I'm switching thoughts and being artists. So many of my artists went silent. Oh no. My fanboys are popular more than usual. Hmm. Ugh. I'm starting to slow down. Ugh. No, I have to keep going. Blame anime for that. And JoJo. <laughs> Are you also watching? I need some recommendations. Artists, I am also watching. I don't know, man. A lot. <laughs> Quite a few, to say the least. Have I played Splatoon? I think I've played a bit of the first Splatoon. But only that.
trying to trying to remember some some artists off the top of my head. I don't know, kind of, kind of difficult to, to, to split the thinking process of my brain. A lot of them are Japanese, so that's why it doesn't really stick in my head right now for me to be like, oh yeah, this artist. Except for like the ones that I'm sure you already know. Remember great for the next sculpting time lapse pull option. they streaming on Twitch? Uh, no. They are not. Need some Twitch artists. After that whole whole thing happened. Blizzard is serious in the company. <laughs> to to read apologize this see how it handles that. And now we wait. While well, ZBrush thinks and ultimately fails. Like this. What the hell is this? This right here. That's garbage. Absolute garbage. My hands are okay. Sort of. My expectations were low for you, ZBrush, but you still somehow managed to disappoint me. Please send any complaints to Oda. 
It feels like 3D is the only thing you feel strongly about. <laughs> when things get in my way, that's when I feel strong about it. And most things do not get in my way. But ZBrush will often get in my way. Let's try increasing the resolution. Maybe that'll help. But probably not. Well, without ZBrush, she wouldn't be able to work. Yeah. It's a love-hate relationship. See, like, look at this nonsense right here. Why? Why? We fixed this nonsense, but now we got that nonsense. All right, ZBrush, because your incompetence knows no bounds, will make this easier for you. Let's put that hand in one polygroup. Put that hand in one polygroup. You know what? No. I, I want the breast to be its own polygroup. You know what? I can get away with making this one. Let's bring in the light box smooth groups. Where are you? Smooth groups. There you are. Because ZBrush is an idiot. Let's move the group border. Hopefully that'll help. Ooh, the results of the contents. How to go. I didn't win. Oh no. Oh no. I got 40 lives and likes and devs on my artwork. Nice. Look at that. Now ZBrush gets it right. ZBrush the incompetent fool. Well, that's nice that they saw it. And that 40 people like it. I'd say that's a success. Always gotta check these little spots as I'm projecting, making sure nothing funky is going on. The projection. No, looks good. First place was honestly a masterpiece. Even I would vote for it. Happy with the results. After all, I drew, drew it because I wanted. Not, oh, you drew it because you wanted to, not because you wanted to win. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, you do it for the love. So far, so good. There's no weirdness anywhere. Okay. Doom, 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 doom.
Okay, good. There's no weirdness around anywhere. After all that, I feel like rewarding myself by sculpting some some booty cleavage. Oh, there we go. So first, let me um bring you down. feel like no let's have it back down this way so I get a bit of the shadows thought there were to be gaming not today I have a lot of things that I need to do, like a lot of things. <laughs> Hold on a second. Before I do that here, I think I need to reconcile this Mm 
Oh no, I have the smooth groups on. I'm like, why is this move acting weird? Okay. all over again auto save there we go Okay, I think that about covers it all. Just blur it and inverse it. Turn off view mask, inflate, seven, let's bring the lazy mouse up a little bit.
Inflating some booty. Booty, booty, booty. This is going to be tough. No, well, they mostly did the, did the trick. Darn it. As much as I like the damn standard brush, it's, it's a very finicky brush in these kinds of instances. So did the trick. There's still something here that I don't like. Because of the topology? No, it's not because of the topology.
Mm, it's mostly gone now. Mostly. Uh, it's a rendering artifact. Uh, I'm chasing ghosts over here. Jeez. gotta go all right thanks for for hanging around evany you have a good one <clears throat> save this and scratch my ear because it itches Ooh, sorry about that i hit the microphone that let's sculpt something else that's fun armpits Hey, Ben, how you doing? Yeah, long time no see. Hope you've been doing well. Lemmy's looking great. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Hope you've been doing well.
looking good. I don't think I need to do too much to it. <laughs> Speaking of mini sketches, I need to hurry up and start my my mini project as well. I need to diversify. Sculpt some miniatures and open up uh, my mini factory. advised I should I should make at least one or two free minis we're already talking about the I mean in fact before you get a cult <laughs> well because that seems to be like the go-to place for miniatures but as far as like a free making like a free mini in like a, a fantasy aspect I am open for suggestions I've heard relatively negative things about the site overall I heard the same but it still seems like that's the place to go for miniatures like specifically minis no like figures that i'm doing or anything anything else like that like specifically miniatures and it's not like i'm going to open up a a cults uh, not cults um What's it called? Tribe. Like their version of a Patreon. And that's too much. I don't think I can do that. My 
what's her name from Witchblade? Yep, I've thought of doing her. I'm sure she'll eventually find herself in the way of a, a pole. They've made it really hard to check what tribes are new. I can't imagine a lot of tribes are making money. Um, what from what I'm understanding that I've heard by hanging around Gaz's stream is that there seems to be this whole negative thing going on where these tribes are offering a one dollar tier that seems to be having a negative consequence to the site overall but no no I, i'm not going to be doing tribes because i don't think i have it in me to to manage like two patreon like services i believe it yeah and it seems like well the tribes like these tribes in specific it seems like they were already popular to begin with and then they did the whole one dollar thing which is like okay you do one dollar then you have five thousand people doing that one dollars i'd rather have a hundred a hundred ten dollars per month subscribers compared to a thousand one dollar per month subscribers yeah <laughs> that, that seems to be like what's happening there's like eight thousand nine thousand members at one dollar i get the idea but it has like the negative consequence of forcing everyone else to kind of charge cheaper for their stuff it's like the the impression i'm getting It's basically the example of pulling up the ladder behind you because because I made it, nobody else can make it, you know? Can't say too much though, I snuck into Gaz's $3 tier. <laughs> Yeah, I was told it would be a good idea to do like at least one or two free minis. Maybe I should do a goblin because from what I've gathered from hanging around places, goblins seem to be very popular. Like short stack female goblins. Apparently, I've had Gaz's sub for a really long time. <laughs> You've been paying all this time and you haven't collected rewards? Nope. <laughs> you should collect. Uh, a lot of this stuff is pretty good. I haven't printed minis much recently. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm just thinking of doing minis because I've had an idea for like some dark fantasy stuff for quite a while that I want to act upon. And then of course, you know, as I do them, I can uh, also release them on 
Patreon as a as a bonus. A bonus. Bonus. There's just something about this curve that I am just not liking. Maybe it has more to do with down here. Man, I really enjoyed all that Terrytown stuff. Ah, he returns. Welcome back. Who is Terry and why does he have a town? <laughs> he has 104 models. I have 72 of them. I'm close to a Pokedex. <laughs> gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Yeah. Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Consider one gen had a, a little of new Pokemon Gen 6. I have no idea what gen I stopped at. Whatever gen uh, Emerald was. That was Gen 3? Really? Wow. <laughs> Wait, did you, was Emerald, was it like Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald? Were they like all the same gen? Yes? Jeez. And like, what gen is it at now? Nine? Okay. So like, I stopped like a third of the way into Pokemon. <laughs> Somewhere over the rainbow Where something flies I do this quick enough. So, um, 
square over the rainbow where children fly da 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 <laughs> no, that was uh You've never seen uh <laughs> You never seen Billy and Mandy martial art? So that character right there, Mandy, she never smiles. She she always like has a frown on her face. And always talks in kind of like a like a grumpy voice kind of deal. And there was that, I don't know, like some kind of school talent show or whatever. And she had to do the bit of uh, Dorothy from Wizard of Oz singing that song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And everybody's like, you need to smile, you need to smile. But smiling is something that she doesn't do and that image is like from her like trying to smile and as she does that she rips the fabric of time and space because she was never meant to smile <laughs> for some reason that episode had like a raven that was a narrator and he's like you fools you've messed with the space-time continuum <laughs> It's great. I love that show. You fools, do you realize what you've done? Actually, undo, undo. Oh yeah, you're right. You've messed up the natural order. <laughs> and then they wake up as the Powerpuff Girls. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. That's what happened. They wake up as the Powerpuff Girls. Raven or Starfire? Raven. Raven. I'm I'm not too much into the childlike ditzy kind of personality. You love Starfire more? I, I figured you would, uh Drake. It's so closer to uh to that honey lemon style of character personality. Starfire seems like she would be a lot of work and energy to keep up. <laughs> You're like, I'm too old for this shit. Because my answer is Blackfire. <laughs> Ben, your, your comment reminded me of, like, this one movie. I can't remember the name of the movie. You guys might know. But it's, like, one of those, like, relationship breakup kind of movies. And the, the, the male character is, like, you know, now that he's, like, broken up with his girlfriend or, or whatever. To, like, kind of get back at her, he started dating, like, a, a chick that was, like, almost 10 years younger than him like a lady in her like early 20s and he's like he's too old for it but she's like you know party all the time party at his apartment and he it's just like skipping from scene to scene to scene and you just see it just like dragging on him he's like i am too old for this shit a woman that can ruin me 
Sing both Gogo -Go and Honey remind me of Raven Starfire. It, it's the same dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, no way. <laughs> I can't remember the movie. It, it's a... It's a... Well-known movie-ish, I guess. But I just remember that, like, she's, like, partying all the time. Hosting the party at his apartment. And he's like, man, I just want to go to bed. It's nine o'clock. I want to sleep. <laughs> I was too old for that shit when I was in high school. Yeah. That was never my thing as well. It just ain't for me. Friends had to use food and gambling to convince me to go. <laughs> it's like, hey, Marshall Clark, there'll be bitches. Nah, there'll be food and gambling. All right, now you got me. then play cards with the bitches. <laughs> and then lose all your money. <laughs> Figure that's why people watch Super Bowl for food and entertainment. Yes, but there's also people that watch it for the Super Bowl. <laughs> The ones that you see like stand up and yell at the screen like, come on, what the hell was that? I could do better than that. <laughs> what did they pay you for, man? I can kick that fuel goal. Come on. Super Bowl, like bowling tournament? No. The Super Bowl is the 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 final the final match, the big event. In American football, which was yesterday. While I was eating lunch, like I already knew they were expensive, but as always, somebody does like a video of interviewing random people. It's like, so how much did you pay for your Super Bowl ticket? It was like, I paid $10,000. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, American football. Yeah, I know everywhere else in the world, football is soccer to Americans. But $10,000 for a football ticket. I mean, hey, they're doing what they want. But jeez. No, the those... Uh, Tickets to the Super Bowl game are expensive. And the price, you know, increases as the seats get better. In that the, in that video, 10,000 was the highest I heard. We were like paying like 5,000, 8,000, this and that. You can get new lungs for that price. <laughs> Although there was one guy, he's like, I got my tickets for free. I was like, huh. Consider yourself lucky.
I'm getting for free or something liver. Free, who did they sleep with? I know, right? <laughs> getting Super Bowl tickets for free? You see all these people like, yeah, I spent five grand, eight grand, ten grand. And then the interviewer was like, are you having a good time? And they're like, hell yeah, I'm having the best time ever. Like, eh. The price for happiness, $10,000 for one day. Maybe I'm too European for that shit, but hell no, I'm paying that kind of money. Yeah, but then like, you know, not saying you, but somebody else would be like, $10,000 for that? Hell no. But I'll go drop six grand for the World Cup. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, I was afraid of that over here. And then there's me like, 10 grand for a Super Bowl? What the hell? And then after one year, let, let me check my finances. Oh shit, I spent $1,000 on the anime figurines. <laughs> we all have our vices, I guess. Nami, I can't see your fat ass is in my way. Yeah. <laughs> I have vice city. World Cup, I can imagine since it's a global event and just not just Americans. Yeah, not even not even I would pay that much. I heard you say you've made minis for companies before. Just confirming. Yes, I have. Well, I currently do. Vices are evil. Oh, I think that's what you were trying to say. Do you like soccer as a European? I dislike it. As a Brazilian, my answer should be yes. I like soccer, but I care less about it. <laughs> May I know you for advice later in the future? All right. It's all good. If I'm able to answer, I will do my best. You have to like it just like Spanish people. <laughs> My excuse is Brazil hasn't been the best at soccer in a very long time. So, meh. I was streaming, you got a lot of attention to messages. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm ever able to answer it, any questions you have, I'll do my best. Volleyball. Volleyball is another sport that's uh, big in Brazil. Specifically beach volleyball.
Ugh, not a sneeze. See that Brazil for volleyball is kind of like America for basketball. Yeah. That's not a bad assessment. Nami's Nami's can't be contained. The song is absolute fire. You know what? I need to give this song a like. Angel Island Zone. That's good. Except. Uh, 
Um, what material did I put on that? I guess it was that. Yep, looks good. Need that to, you know, support Nami's uh, weight there. Oh, Professor So Good, what do we call the working experience as a worker in your life? What the career? I have other ideas for a career, but okay. <laughs> I think this should be good. Nami looks to be balanced well. Being a Ouija in his career looks great. Thank you, Bubster. Nami butt. There we have Janami butt. very shiny yeah the, the material i'm using makes it shiny let's try this material but i don't know i guess people like shiny this one kind of pale this one's a little bit more warm left to do on Nami is a little bit of detailing on her clothing oh yeah I have to combine all the hair and sculpt a little bit of like hair indication up here bring in this hood piece collar piece in here and then she's done then I just slice her up into little pieces so that you guys can 3D print her. 
Yeah, the the not safe work version. That that's a that's a quick thing. But like ninety percent of the work is done. I wish ZBrush had a feature where I can just let. Actually, I think, I think, I think. Let me just save this. File save as. Calm down, Gato. All right. I've never really messed around with this much in ZBrush, but let's let's uh, let's take a look. Timeline show. do this how do I do this I've never messed with this in ZBrush Damn it, ZBrush, you don't make this straightforward. How do I play you? I don't want to record the movie or anything like that. How do I play you? I never mess with this. Do I just hit record? Nope. Delete. ZBrush, the machine is rebelling. Rebelling. ZBrush, once again, you fail me. I guess we have to quickly Google it. We'll pass this song for now. Let's see, ba ba ba, ZBrush, play, time, line. You will suffer more for that, Polly. <laughs> no. Anytime, at any time, you can play your animation by pressing shift and clicking on the time cursor. cursor. What? Oh, there we go. That is rather slow, isn't it? See, how was I supposed to know that? I'm holding shift. Hey, stop it.
movie. How can I speed it up? Let's do 10 seconds. There we go, that's better. Now that's more like it. Whoa, what the heck? Why does it pop like that? I see. I see. Quick save. Come on. I'd say that's about halfway, right? Hey, there we go. Today I learned how to make an... No, oh, you're going the wrong way. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Show the AI who's boss. Okay, so front to there, to there, to there. To there. I've seen a lot more people are using the camera's animation conjunction of layers to do simple animations. Looks like way too much work, but at the same time, it's nice. Yeah, it's essentially like doing a stop motion animation. Is there a way I can make this down, 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 down? Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're learning here, we're learning. Uh, timeline. see the entire damn thing. Timeline. Can I make the timeline shorter? Slider will magnify the timeline once the selected dot is clicked. Default is set to 4, which will magnify the timeline more 
name it. Maybe I should just do it like that. Like that. And then over here, like that. And then halfway. We do that. Somewhere halfway here. Will be that. And somewhere halfway there. Will be that. Let's see how that works. Will this be more smoother? More smoother? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think uh, later tonight after dinner, I'll uh, I'll get started on Meryl Meryl Barak Brook Barak. The, the Patreon model. I'll do that. Oh, I should also um, finish touching up the the renders, phase renders, and post that to Patreon. Yes, yes, I should do that. All in all, it was pretty productive today. Nami's like 90% done gotta finish up her hair maybe polish some stuff here and there but yeah she's pretty much done which I'm happy I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed with everything I have to do but I need to get it all done all right so Let's let's just shoot the shit for a couple more minutes. What is that? Three, eight, seven. Don't overdo it. I don't have a choice. Let's see. We have like seven, eight, nine, thirteen minutes to sh to shoot the shit here. My brain is uh definitely running on on fumes. Yes, you do. The huff always comes first. But I want to sculpt. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. Where, where's, where's, will this keep playing if I click out? Good, good. It keeps playing. Th that's right, Nami. Keep dancing for me. Twirl, twirl, twirl some more. Let me get rid of this window because I don't need it anymore. Is your wallet forcing you to get money for those figures? <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy that they announced that Anna Rose, Anna Rosa figure. It's probably my more favorite of their uh, spin-offs. Witch of Steel? Yes. I even... <laughs> I even paid money for that character in the mobile game. I'm like, yes, I want her. I want her now. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't announce any... Uh, updates for for Rinko's figure why is she even called that witch of steel well she's a witch and i'm i'm guessing they just call her witch of steel because of uh she has like this really badass sword that's the only reason i can think of because i don't remember any explanation 
Which, uh, not, not the kind, not the kind you're hoping for, Drake. Oh, you know what? You know what I could... I just... I had a thought. I had a thought. Uh, stop spinning. Let's bring you back there. I had a thought. No, because I was just looking at Nami, and you know how I always dock Nami, or whatever I'm sculpting on, on the left-hand side? What if I just document large, document large, and then, uh, how do I do this? I need to go back to Google ZBrush, ZBrush, record time line. To record an animation, press control shift at the same time and click on the time cur cursor. Okay, control shift it is. Oh, what the hell is going on? Stop. 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 Nami, what the hell? No. What was that nonsense? What was that? Floating around. Oh. Floating around at the speed of sound. Where's play movie? Uh, look at her go. <laughs> the hell was that? <laughs> what the? F let's let's try that again. Delete. No. Forgot to turn these off. The overlay in the title. All right, don't freak out on me again. No, oh, no, oh, there she goes. Okay. All right, so maybe that didn't work. I don't know why, but I think something about my my space mouse just messes with that. And I don't feel like unplugging it right now. <laughs> but as we were talking about, <laughs> yeah. Kind of sucks. Didn't see any uh, update on the wrinkle figure. But there was a, a new figure based on Asanagi's uh, illustration. I think I might get it. I like it. I like it a lot. My poor, poor wallet. I told, I told myself <laughs> the only figures I'm buying this year are the the time and then figures that already sounds good it's like this blue skin demon vampire chick whatever like kneeling on a pedestal or something like that bow, bow, bow. I think I recall her. Yeah. Yeah, he's drawn her a few times. Doom. I'm not calling you on a payphone. 
Give me that Green Hill Zone. Oh yeah, just just to ease the pain on my my wallet. Only only time and figures this year. With the first two that I pre-ordered is already oof, already already hurting hurting that wallet. Oof. Mm. New year and new me. Yeah. Did you make this promise for the last recurring year? No. Previously, it was just like, if I saw something that I really like, th this is how it goes for me. If I see a figure that I like that I'm thinking about buying, I'm like, oh, that looks nice. When the pre-order is open, I like, I bookmark the page for like a month. And I see how I feel about it a month later. And if I feel like I still want it, then I pre-order it. So like this way, I prevent any kind of like impulse purchases. Just kind of like let it dwell, you know, let it, let it minger, however that word goes. Sounds like a good idea, but not for me. Want the new uh, Mount Lady from Kotobukiya? Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that one. They should, they should hire me to sculpt some of those ladies. Just saying, just saying. I should really uh, try my hand at sculpting some of those insane diorama figures there really are no figures of her i think she has like two maybe i should uh only one i have of hers is a pop figures Ah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's the other one. Those simple pop figures. Should uh, should make a figure of uh, what's her name? The the invisible girl. Now that would be an easy one to do. <laughs> but I guess not anymore. Now that they've revealed like how she actually looks like. It's like, ah, now I have to actually sculpt something. That'll be a good one. You can like you can print that one out and like clear resin. And then everyone drew her. <laughs> People were still drawing her when she was invisible. <laughs> you mean I didn't finish? Just because she was invisible, that didn't stop the fan arts. They still went for it. Whoops. Keep spinning for me, Nami. I feel like... Like I'm the, the Phantom of the Opera instead of Sing For Me. I'm like, spin for me, spin for me. My hero has one of the best mentions, but one of the worst people on Twitter. Because <laughs> the vast majority of the fans are ladies. Ladies with very, very particular fetishes, to say the least. Uh, 
All right. A nice, clean, four-hour-long stream. There we go. All right, buddy. Thank you for hanging out with me. Should go watch the Harry Potter. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. So have a, a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending where you are. I'll see you next time, all right? Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Have a good one. Bye-bye.